Javon and I are actually launching an influencer marketing agency. Thank you. Can I have a kiss, please? No. Why? It's the sleepwear. It's got the double zipper, which is great for the night. It came out so good. Like, now. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. I told y'all, Fashion Nova is very hit or miss, but sometimes they hit. <laughs> Welcome to another weekly vlog. I missed you, girl. I know we didn't talk last week. There was really nothing to talk about. Like, <laughs> I did not do anything last week, so I'm like, there's really no point of vlogging. But I'm picking up the vlog this week because it's giving booked and busy. We have a lot to do this week. When I say a lot, a lot. We're actually going to Columbus on Friday, so I think that's going to be part of next week's vlog. But we'll at least do like the preparations and stuff for this vlog. We just want to go home, be with family. You know, a little family time, little kumbaya moment. <laughs> I just got out of the gym i'm looking a little crazy a little red in the face because my trainer had me running on the treadmill girl i can't tell you the last time i ran it's it's been quite a long time but i'm so proud of myself y'all like i really feel like i'm in my wellness baddie era like not just working out but i've really been taking care of like my mental health i've been like upping my supplements but i'm feeling really good about myself and after the gym y'all one thing about me I'm gonna have my greens on deck. Y'all know I'm in my wellness era. Like I have to have my greens on deck. I've been absolutely loving these greens from Bloom and I drink it after every single workout. And this new mango flavor, oh, it hits different. These really help to aid with digestion and also help with bloating. I used to be a bloated girl. I used to be a belly hurting baddie, but I've been on these greens for the past month and a half and I have seen a significant improvement, especially when it comes to my bloating. The hype is so real about these Bloom greens. If you want an all-in-one super green, you're gonna wanna get with Bloom. I'm gonna have all of the links in the description so you can make sure you're a Bloom baddie today as well, okay? <laughs> but seriously, y'all, this mango flavor is crazy. Usually, like when I take greens, I have to put it in a shot because they're so disgusting. But I put this in a whole glass and I drink it like throughout the morning because it tastes so good. It tastes like a green juice. I actually just pulled up home. So we're going to go inside, shower, get dressed for the day. We have so much to do. But one thing I just did is book my hair appointment. Y'all, <laughs> I just hope we can kiki and laugh about this whole situation because who's getting a silk press every single week? not me i don't know how the natural straight girls do it i am not qualified for that like i am such a low maintenance type of girl like i am not trying to have to get my hair pressed every single week this silk press is done the silk is gone the silk is absolutely gone um so we're going to get my hair ready tomorrow like I, I just don't have the time as a mother i don't have the time to be getting my hair done every single week like i need some braids i still feel like braids are a protective style though my hair does grow a lot in braids so we're still on this natural hair journey i'm just not one of those girls to just do their hair every day like i just don't have the time this bun even is on struggle right now so we're gonna go get our hair done early in the morning i booked an 8 a.m appointment because i really want to be home by like one and I'm going to an African braiding shop and usually they be, you know, putting in that work. So hopefully we can get it done early. But today is super packed. We got a lot of office stuff to do. So let's go inside, get dressed, and then we'll head up to the office to work. All right. What's up, y'all? So I'm in the office. Joanne and I are actually about to hop on a meeting with our team. And I want to talk a little bit about what's coming in February because it's super exciting. And since I have Javon up here, we can go a little bit more in depth. But we have a team call after that, I gotta check my to-do list. I wrote my to-do list on Sunday because y'all know I always talk about how Mondays are crazy for me. So I wanted to kind of get a head start. So we'll see what's on the to-do list. But I know I have like a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails to send out, a lot of office work. But yeah, we are needing to hop on the call right now. So let's get into it. I gotta log in on all those. Oh, you're not signed in yet. Yeah, it would have did it. You wouldn't even have to log out and log back in. It would have just been that. Hi. Hello. Hello. We'll go ahead and hop right in. So, um, as you guys know, 
Friday, I sent out a message just about our emails and what's going on with that. Basically, what had happened, we have the we have the tech department here actually called him in. Basically, he changed the, um, you know how it's at, at Mavon Family? It's now at Ma Mavon Family Inc., but everything still syncs. But what we'll have to do since all of our emails were getting shot back this weekend is we have to go through any open line of communication we had and just kind of loop them in and say, hey, we were having some te technical difficulties. I'm just following up, want to make sure I didn't miss anything, especially with those two deals that are pending because mm -hmm. they might have tried to reply, but it's getting bounced back. Yes. Y'all, we just got off of our meeting with our team. And I just want to give you like a little, a little teaser on what's to come. So Javon and I are actually launching an influencer marketing agency. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. The agency is called Mavon. Isn't that name just fire? It actually is Maya and Javon, Mavon. We're super excited about it. We've been building our team for the past couple months and we're getting ready to go live and actually launch in February. As you're gonna see some like upcoming posts and some details about that. Basically, we're taking like a holistic approach to influencer marketing and we are actually signing faith-based influencers. So I know when I was in the market looking for management it really just gave like whoever could exploit you the most <laughs> i'm gonna be completely honest like whoever can get the most money out of you are the people that are gonna come after you but we are really looking to help the whole influencer that means like giving them resources for their mental physical spiritual health like really just making sure that the whole influencer is taken care of so that way when they're making their content like they feel good about it and they're putting out the best content possible because they're taking care of themselves okay um i know that last year some stuff had gone down that really just made me look at influencing in a different light when i was signed to my old team just a little bit of tea since we want to get into the teas when i was signed to my old team um there was something that occurred where i had like this really really big brand deal it was a five figure deal i worked really hard on it there was like a lot of parts to it so i had to complete the whole thing and it was a you know whole situation and i never actually received payment for that deal and that is like very rare within influencing like sometimes it may take them a while like it may take them like two months three months because it could be on like a net 60 and at 30 and at 90 whatever but i actually never received payment from this deal and i think it just showed me that if you don't have a strong team behind you, like these brands will play with you. At the end of the day, when you're an influencer and you brand yourself as such, like you are a business. And if you don't have a team behind your business, like people will try to play with you like this. And this is no shade, no tea towards my old team, but it's just like, it just opened my eyes to the possibility of wanting to change the dynamic of the industry. So we're here to just support the whole influencer and make sure that they feel the best, make sure that they have the best resources. And that's what we're like. It's super excited, y'all. I am like <sighs> pumped up. I feel like last year I was just fighting for my life. And now I remember when I got this prophecy over me that God was literally going to be refueling me in every area. And I've always been a businesswoman at heart. But with like having those pregnancies back to back, your girl was out here fighting. And I just didn't have... I guess the confidence anymore to start something new. But having my husband here by my side pushing me has really just ignited something within me. And one thing about Javon, listen, y'all don't know, but Javon is a businessman. Like he really gets it done. And not only that, he's so good at like creating systems, creating websites. Like he's the back end tech man. Y'all heard me call him the tech man on the call because he really is. And his vision is really what's what's amazing. He sees things before I could even fathom like I'm a right here right now like I'm good at like okay how can we make this work right now Javon's like how can we make this work in 10 years five years like he sees the big picture I see where we're at right now and we're just a really really good team and it's so beautiful that we're starting this company together as like a married couple and this is like our family thing like it is literally our family company it's something we're going to pass down to our kids so I'm excited to take y'all on the journey show y'all like all the ups and downs the ins and outs and Owning a business in general, this will be my second business, but owning a business in general is not for the week. So I know everybody be like, oh, I want to be an entrepreneur. It's like, there's a lot that goes into wanting to be an entrepreneur, but I'm excited for the whole journey. And 
that's what's going on in the Graves house. Very much May Van, May Van, May Van, May Van. And it's been super fun, like, cause now I look at social media differently. I'm like, is this a prospective client? Is this somebody I wanna sign? I'll just really be getting into it. I feel like over the past six years, I've built up like a really good resume when it comes to like, influencing i understand the back end so much so i feel like we are well equipped for this so we have like the brains and then we got like the systems with javon and it's just gonna yeah it's gonna be amazing if this vlog drops you'll probably actually already see like the post on instagram and stuff so go and check out our website guys javon killed our website our website looks amazing i've never seen a website that looks like this like javon was doing all these plugins like he was going listen this man has been working on this website so y'all have to check out our website just browse through you can look at the about us page and then if you're interested in getting some talent management hit us up we've got a lot of forms on our website and stuff so that's kind of what we're doing and I know things are about to pick up in March so I'm just trying to prepare myself for the storm but at the same time like we're ready for it your girl's launching business number two family business Mayvon influencer marketing agency faith-based influencers and like everybody has a niche like it's a talent agency that probably be out there for the raunchy raunchies so why is there not an agency out there for the faith-based influencers well now there is and it's called maybon so let your friends know <laughs> but i have so much more work to do y'all i've got a lot of emails to answer um you might have heard on the call like our our emails kind of went out of whack this weekend so i have to kind of go through and make sure everything is good and then after that girl, what's about me? i'm gonna write it down this is my favorite planner i got this from target and it really just helps me to get all this stuff out of my mind onto here so i write everything i need to do on this and then i just cross it out as i go so we already did our app model. i already worked out now i've got a lot of calls to make and some appointments to schedule so I'm gonna do that now. I'm also gonna order us some lunch because whenever we're in the office, like I'm just gonna order lunch. It's just what's easiest. So I'm probably gonna order from this spot called Tzatziki's. It's this Mediterranean spot and it's so good. They got this salad. It's like a vinaigrette. It's got chickpeas, roasted peppers, all types of stuff. It's so bomb. All right, so I get the Mediterranean salad with their grilled salmon. Their salmon is so good. It comes with garbanzo beans, roasted red peppers, red onions, diced tomatoes, canned pecans, which is so good on a salad. I would have never thought, but it adds that little crunch. Feta and then baked pita on the side. So I do the balsamic vinaigrette, no drink, all the sides. And I'm gonna do some grilled salmon. And that's what I'm gonna have for lunch. But. Once I finish with all this little stuff, we will talk and catch up and yeah, just get into this week. I hope you guys are having a great week. We're going to get it done. I feel so blessed. I do want to talk about church yesterday because church was so bomb. It was so good and I'm super excited and just feel refreshed in the spirit. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. <laughs> But the food just came in, so let me show you guys what we got. First is these Greek potatoes. This is new on their menu, so I haven't tried it yet, but it looks good. Javon got some too. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot to give y'all a call about this. Hello, <laughs> my ring came in y'all. It came in last week, so that's why like, I forgot, but girl. So this is my old band that I have on right now. Oh. We're still looking into the other band that I showed y'all that like Chevron, but all that matters is the rock. All that matters is, Javon surprised me. I didn't know that it came in and it came in and he popped up and he surprised and he basically like re-proposed me. It was really cute. Do y'all see? And that's on standing on business. That's on patience. That's on, it may never be the fairy tale at first, but God can make it the fairy tale because 
my husband definitely did that. So it came in and it is so gorgeous, y'all. I love how it sits on my fingers. And when my hand starts to slim out, <laughs> it's gonna look even bigger, even better. And it's just gorgeous. I love the shape. I feel like this shape is so slept on. Like the marquee of the marquee of the marquee. And in person, I promise you, like in person, the girls, all my girls have been like, it is literally blinding. And I agree, it's beautiful, it's absolutely gorgeous. So Javon got a shrimp Caesar salad. I'm not really sure about it, but here's how it looks. Like, you know, shrimp on a Caesar? But I got a Mediterranean, oh no, he got salmon, salmon on a Caesar. And then I got the Mediterranean, which is so bomb. Hold on, let me like judge it up so y'all can actually see what it looks like. Here's how this looks. The salmon kind of broke up, but you got the Mediterranean, all the little veggies, the feta. And I love that they give you three sauces. Like, yes, I need to sauce it up. This is like a balsamic vinaigrette. I love a vinaigrette dressing. Oh, that looks good with like steak. What? Yours? No, because I just... We got the same thing? What I get? <laughs> you? you? My potatoes? <laughs> you got a Caesar. I feel like Caesars are mad plain. That's why I was like, why are you getting a Caesar? Like, this is good. Are you excited about everything? What? Yeah, I am. I've been summoning my corporate errand these days, y'all, and it's so funny. Like, when you really just get into the corporate errand of it all, like, Yes, we are going to have to close in on the Q1 goals here. Um, just loop everybody in and just make sure that we CC us in the email thread. <laughs> I'd really be talking like that on the calls and I'd be cracking up. But you really have to hit them with a corporate errand. Like, listen, it is what it is. This is the corporations of the corporations of the corporations. I'm talking like this because I just had some coffee, y'all. Barely. Just had a little sip of coffee doing how to act. But I'm about to eat my food and then hopefully finish up so we can do a little bit of running around. I really... Are you okay? Oh my goodness, hi. Oh my goodness, hi. Hi, chunky man. Ezra, you do not look two months old. You look like you're like four months old, dude. Hi. 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 You have hiccups. You're trying to stand up. I know you. But yeah, y'all, I really need some new sports bras. When we ran today, I was like, Definitely need to get some new sports bras. So hopefully we can make it out today. But if not, we'll do that tomorrow because we are going to go get my hair done. But let me finish up this office stuff. I'm almost done and I'm feeling really good about it. Do you want your Nina? Do you want your Nina? Girl, you can't poke me with it. Do you want it? Say yes, please. Okay, chew what's in your mouth. How was school? How was school? Was it good? <laughs> Genesis. Okay, we'll chew what you here. Drink some water. No, you need water. Jenna, you need to wash that down. Here. Say thank you. You're welcome. Y'all, this new Christian rap. This new Christian rap. <laughs> I love what we're doing in the space. I love that we can listen to like upbeat little, you know, 808s and all that type of stuff, child. But sometimes it be bringing me back. I'm like, this sound a little too gonna to me. No, <laughs> it's just the beats. I feel. I think 1K Few is signed with future's producer so it sounds very much futury but when you listen to his lyrics like he's talking about the words so anyways girl since i've been in the gym i've been needing some new artists on my playlist because sunday's not cutting it what's wrong do you want more banana yes please say yes please genesis is getting so good at her words y'all here let's wash your hands Y'all, we just got home. Genesis is about to wash her hands. Puss, good job. The teacher said she did good in school. He had a good day, huh? Oh. Octopus, good job. Is that your octopus? Huh? Octopus. Hi. Hi, baby. 
Hi. Okay, we need to wash our hands. Can we wash? How do you wash? Rub, 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 rub. <laughs> rub, 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 rub. Okay, now we gotta rinse. It's right there. Y'all, so <laughs> I was asking her teacher, like, how was her day? How did she do? And they were like, oh, yeah, she did really good. But she snores really loud. <laughs> Octopus, good job. They're like, yeah, but she snores really loud. <laughs> I was like, listen, that's Jenna for you. You were snoring? It's probably because you always got a stuffed nose. What? Who? Where's your bebe? Where's Bebe? No, is he upstairs? Up. Bebe's up? Up. Uh. He's up. Should we go visit him? I think we're gonna go on a walk. I am not 100%. I've been trying to like get some extra movement and do some walking. Huh? Walk. Walk. And get some extra movement. Excuse me. What? What's going on with you? What? Can I have a kiss? No. No? Can I have a kiss, please? No. Why? <laughs> Can I have a kiss, please? No. Okay. Well, it is what it is. What do you want? A bottle? Say bottle, please. Applesauce or bottle? Jenna, applesauce or a bottle? A bottle. A bottle? No. No bottle. What do you want? A bottle. Applesauce? Say yes. No. Okay, so what do you want? No. What do you want no. then? Bella. What is Bella? Uh, what is Bella? Uh, what do you, show me what you need. Uh, Where is it? Uh, what? This is actually some of my breast milk. It's not much, but I'll give her this and then the rest, just her regular milk. Cause girl, you be slurping these little bottles down. You just told me you wanted milk. Baby, it's not in the same box. It's right here. She wanted it in this one. It's not in this one anymore. I... Jenna, look, it's the same milk in a different bottle. Somebody please help. I'm gonna get her settled in and everything and then we'll probably cook some dinner tonight. It's gonna be really chill. I do have just a little bit more work to finish up and then I'll be all done with office work and we can just really relax and unwind. Time for a bath. You wanna read these? Well, when we get out the bath, okay? Out the bath. Oh baby, be careful. You can't do that to, bur to burger. Usually, I try to pick Genesis up by 4 because I've realized when I pick her up at like that 5.30 area, sis is not having it. So I've been trying to pick her up earlier, but y'all, I'm super excited for my hair appointment. I'm going to show you guys what hair I use for my boho. I actually use the hair I use for my tapins, but I'm going to show you how I like prep them and how I turn it in to boho hair. Basically, all you do is just cut the trap off of the tapin. But I'm going to wash them and then also wash my hair. So we'll do like a little hair care tonight to get ready for that. And I'm also trying to... No, don't put the bone in his face. I'm trying to get like everybody set up so the morning goes smooth. Because we got to get up out of here early. Do y'all see them? <laughs> That's so cute. Did you give Bebe a kiss? Jenna, did you give Bebe a kiss? Now she's hyper fixated on the draft. What? You want the draft please? More draft, okay. There you go. 
but I'm gonna try to get everybody's stuff laid out, clothes laid out, breakfast is prepped because we gotta be out of here by 7.30 and that's gonna be a miracle in the Graves house. So I'm just trying to be proactive and make sure everybody's good. But let's give Jenna a bath, do her nighttime routine, then I'll catch up with y'all downstairs and we're gonna prep my hair so your girl can <laughs> be back to her braids. <laughs> We got these little Bible story books that Jenna's been loving. So we're going to do the book of Moses. Long time ago, the Egyptians and the Israelites lived side by side in Egypt. Although they had different beliefs, they lived together quite happily. Then a bad king came to power. He made the Israelites work as slaves in order that every baby boy born to an Israelite family should be thrown into Running. the river. I don't know if this is pasta sauce or <laughs> if my face is red. My face actually has been like real red. This is like the sensitive area of my face. Disregard it. So we're here to do the hair. I'm gonna show you the tea. This is the hair I have left over from the last time I did my boho. As you can see, this is what the top looks like, y'all. All I did was cut this tape in off and like i said you could do this with bundles and then you have some good hair but make sure you're using good hair like don't use hair that's not going to last you a while because my boho lasted a really long time because i feel like i use some good hair so i want to add a little bit more i don't think that's enough this is kind of what i do though i just put them all like this making sure all the tapes are lined up and then I'm gonna wash it so it's nice and clean because obviously it was installed. So here's what it looks like before. And to wash it, this is what I'm gonna use. Camilla Rose. This is her sweet ginger cleansing rinse. This is also what I'm gonna use on my hair. So after this, I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash my hair so I can blow dry it so it's all good to go. But say goodbye to the soap press, girl. It <laughs> lasted us a week. And then the Moroccan pear, also from Camilla's. Her stuff, mm, it smells, oh my gosh. I forgot how good that smells. So good, so good. So get some warm water going, just like you'd wash any other bundles, girl. Just make sure you're keeping the tapes all together because sometimes they'll slip through. So you just need to keep it all nice and together. Take your shampoo. I'm gonna use this one. Make sure you're giving them a good scrub down because you can't wash braids. You want to make sure the hair you use is nice and clean before it goes onto your head. I'm telling you, girl, this will save you so much money. And it looks better. Prefer, like in my opinion, I feel like when you use bundles, it looks better. I don't really like the hair that they market for boho. I feel like it's either not good quality or I just don't prefer the curls. I like medium curls. I don't like super kinky, kinky curls. But I also don't like super loose curls i like it in the middle and i feel like the longer you wear this the longer they drop so mine do start super curly like you can see they're getting really curly but i feel like the longer i wore them by like week three they were at the curl that i really like which is like in between and then i'm gonna just brush through girl i've had this brush since like high school <laughs> does anybody else just have a brush they just kept with them all their lives but it gets it done it gets it done and I love this hair color mix, y'all. Like, my stylist did do that. She definitely did do that. Okay, time for the conditioner. Usually I would let the conditioner sit for like 20 minutes, but girl, it is so late and I just need to get this done. I still gotta wash my own hair. So we're just gonna do a little bit, probably like a little five minutes. Need a lot of conditioner on there. Gets it in there real good. Oh. Look at how pretty these curls are. I love how this looks. Brush it out so all the conditioner is nice and dispersed. And this color is so pretty. It's got some highlights in it. And it's got that nice chocolate brown. So it's going to look so beautiful. I cannot wait to get my hair done, girl. Brush it out, make sure it's tangle free. We're gonna cut the tape as close to here as possible. And then biggest thing, you take that hair and you get a clip 
and you put it in here so it stays all combined and don't start going all over the place. And that way you just add it to the mix. Okay. It's better to have two clips, one going left and one going right so that no hair gets out. And I'm about to do this to this whole little bundle. This is probably gonna equate to like two bundles of hair, which is usually how much I put in my bohos. So it's perfect. This one was actually on a track. Oh, and then there's two tapes down here. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna cut all this up and then I will talk to y'all once it's all done. You're done. Honestly, I do not think I'm gonna use all of this. I'd rather have more than not have enough. I'm literally about to go put this in the car because I would get to my hair appointment and forget this. <laughs> but here's how it looks, y'all. So y'all always ask me what hair I use. This is the hair I use. And we're gonna go get our hair done super, super early. I'm about to wash my hair. My hair care routine is gonna be the same thing using those two products and probably just a little bit of leave-in, but I have so much like gel in my hair from slicking my hair back. So this is not even a look. <laughs> good representation of how the silk press looks now. Just no, no silk to be found. Also, one day it was raining, girl, and it was just over for my hair. Like. I walked in the house and I was like, this is why I cannot be out here with the hair out. Like, it's just not for me. It's for some girls. It's just not for me. Like, I can't do it. But I'm about to go wash my hair, girl. I will talk to y'all in the morning. We are going to be getting into it. And we're going to go get our hair done. It's hair day. <laughs> A thought that has not left my mind is when you like tell a hairstylist what you want, especially when it comes to boho braids, it sounds like you're ordering some like food from American Deli. I told her I want waist length, medium sized, boho knotless, regular boho. Does that not sound like you want some lemon pepper fries extra crispy with ranch on the side? Like I just feel like that is so extra, but it's, it's what we do for our hair. It came out so good. Like now. Auntie, auntie, auntie almost did not get a pass because at the end she was like, first of all, she braided my edges up. So if I come out of these with no edges, we know why. She was like, for the ends, what do you want to do? I was like, oh, you know, just dip them. Cause usually, you know, they just dip them and it's nice and it's all good. And she was like, oh, um, you don't want them curled. Everybody curls them. I should have known not to listen to her because just because auntie Sue curled them does not mean I need to curl them. But I was like, okay, cool. Cause I'm thinking it's going to look better. <laughs> at me. I'm thinking it's gonna look better so I was like yeah go ahead and curl them girl I came home these ends were about this big puffed out and that just reminds me of french curls and if you know me you know I can't no shade no tea if you have french curls but personally me I just don't like french curls I don't like something going from like smooth to it just is not proportionate and natural to me because usually your hair goes from full to thinner at the bottom so girl, I came home with these big old ends. I was like immediately going. I thinned them out <laughs> with my little razor. I dipped them in some water and now we're good. And let me just say, for the price. Now, given I did bring my own hair, so that's a huge thing when it comes to boho, is the cost of the hair. So taking that into account, these only costed, costed, these only cost me $2.85. The other time I got boho, they were $700. Isn't that crazy for some hair? And they weren't even as full as this. Like, these are full. This is full. Give me girls. Full. They weren't even as full. She ended up using all the hair I brought, plus a little bit from the shop. So she was like, yeah, I'm gonna give you boho, girl. Like, this is boho. I feel like my other ones just had a couple of like, cute little fringe pieces, but this is boho. 
So I think they came out really good. So if you need a little quick little boho, go to Jamila's because they also have like same day appointments, girl. You can do walk-ins. I booked an appointment for eight. I was in the chair by 8.15. And that's because I was late. And took about five hours. Got there at eight, left there at 1.45. So they had three girls on my head at one point. I was like, listen, the faster we can get this done, the better. But I love how it turned out. I'm just gonna keep touching my hair because girl, it's been a long time. Like I've missed having these in and I've only had them out for like a week. Yeah, but so pretty. So I'm really, really happy with my hair. I think it came out beautiful. I think it came out beautiful. Um, here's the plan for the rest of the day. I already picked up Genesis. I wanted to get her home early because she went to school early. So she's already here. She's actually taking a nap because she's in a bad mood. Um, Javon is chilling. We're about to probably go up to the office. I want to place a fashion over order with y'all because I did play on last vlog. I told y'all I was going to give you a haul. I never gave you a haul. But I just got a text that they have free one day shipping. And we're going to Ohio on Friday. So it's just like, might as well. Fashion Nova is very much hit or miss when it comes to quality. But since you guys know I'm on my weight loss journey, like I'm not going to be in these clothes for long. So I'm not really gonna invest in timeless quality, quality pieces until I lose these pounds. Then when I lose the pounds, we can talk about getting some high quality pieces. But right now it's really giving fashion over. Like everybody be like, where'd you get that? I'm like fashion over. That's literally the only place I shop right now just because I feel like they have cute stuff. It's not too overpriced. It's not horrible quality. But yeah, we're definitely gonna get into it once your girl drops these pounds. We're gonna rebuild our wardrobe. So I am super excited for that. But right now, two pieces, basics. <laughs> it's just what it is. So let's go upstairs and place an order. Open some windows. Let's do some online shopping. Can we set the vibes? I'm gonna shop with y'all, so. Let's get into it. Let's go on Fashion Nova and see what they have. Actually, I think my other, I have like three Fashion Nova accounts and I need to be so for real and just delete all these other ones because it gets way too confusing. Actually, I'm about to sign out and just. When it comes to Fashion Nova, you really have to read the reviews because one, their sizing is so off sometimes. And then also like the quality. Last time I went shopping on there, y'all, I ended up returning half the stuff I got because it was horrible. Like, there was this little two-piece. It was like a jogger. It was supposed to be joggers in this, like, matching coat. It was like a two-piece. When I say it wasn't even rainbow quality, I was like, yeah, y'all are definitely going to have to see me about that. Okay, that's not the account I needed to get into. You're a chunky man. You're a big chunky man. Everybody's like, dude, you're huge. Dude, how are you three months, dude? You're huge. And I say, because you're chunky and you eat all day. Okay, so we... Jordan went to church. He did? He went to, he went to Potter House. Wow! He went to Sarai's church in LA. Yeah. With, uh, and uh, his, his girl took him. That is such a blessing. He's about to really just start diving in. Okay. God is calling him to that church. Like, Let me tell y'all. <laughs> in church, y'all, there was uh, baptisms. The most beautiful thing ever is seeing somebody literally, like, dedicate themselves to the Lord, especially when they're doing it at an older age. Like, I think I was baptized when I was younger, but when I really committed my life and my being to the Lord... And seeing somebody do that, it's just, it's so beautiful. I'd be so happy because I'm just like, you're about to actually live now. Like, you've just been out here going through the motions, but you're about to experience real life. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm excited for him. That's good, Jamal. Okay, so in our cart, we've got these little Ugg dupes. If these work, yeah, we're going to stick beside them. Hopefully, they have the black ones, too. We got this little sweater set. I am one who loves a sweater set. I love a sweater set. I love a two-piece. That's all you're about to see me in. Y'all are going to see me in two pieces. So if you're looking for something else, <laughs> please, please don't expect that out of me. And then we also have this little 
short sweater set. I think this would be cute around the house. Most of the stuff I get is like, okay, can I wear this around the house and still be comfortable? Okay, so we're back, we're back. Okay, this is what I did. I updated some things in my cart. So this is the Braylon Snatched Pant Set. This is part of the Snatch line. So there's one day shipping on this. We will be trying this out tomorrow. If it does not snatch me, I'm gonna snatch them. We got the Remy Ripped Baggy Jeans. Now, maybe because I've never experienced luxury jeans, I think Fashion Nova has pretty good jeans. I got some jeans from them that I wore to church on Sunday and I really like them. I like stretchy jeans. Like I'm not a stiff type of jean girl. Like I need stretch in my life. I'm a mom, I can't be bending now. Now the jeans ripped now, we both look at them. I need some stretch in my life. So I like these and I've read the reviews. Everybody's like, these are the best jeans ever. They're so good. Read reviews when you're online shopping. Don't just be out here shopping blindly. Read reviews, read the sizing chart and read the sizing recommendations in the reviews. People will be like, I'm this weight, I'm this height, get this size. I always listen to that and usually I get the right size. Okay, high line open front cardigan. This color, I love it. I love this color. I could see like this, honestly, with these little blue jeans, like that would look really cute with a white tank top underneath. Yeah, I was looking for another tank top, but they don't have it in an extra large. So it's like, do I get a large? But these <laughs> breastfeeding situations, it's not giving large. So I don't know. I mean, it's only $5, maybe we just try it out and see. Because I feel like that would be a cute outfit, especially when we're going to Ohio and we want to go to like a little brunchy vibe. I think I'm going to do it. I'll just do a large and see how that works out for me. Um, And then this is like my goal item. I'm not going to buy this yet because look at the back. We have about six more months before this is even a possibility. But once I get this back together, I best believe this is the outfit I'm popping out with. This is so cute. But we're not getting it right now. I'm kind of undecided on this little starry situation because it never gave starry night, but I do feel like it's cute loungewear for in the house, but in the house. Given it is 40% off, but it's just like, one thing about Fashion Nova, they will hike up the prices every time they have a sale. They sent me my like shipping receipt card in the box and it said the real price of it. It was like, <laughs> one of the sets was actually like $29.99, but if you looked on the website during the buy one, get one free, it was like $60. Yeah, they're shady. But mm, I don't know, I'm kind of undecided on this. I feel like this would make me hot. Like if I'm wearing loungewear, honestly, I want to wear pajamas. So let's be for real and just not even set ourselves up for failure. We'll take that out the cart. Um, I think everything else is pretty good. We're going to save this one. So we'll just heart that. And... Let's just zibble and dabble and make sure there's no other matching sets that interest me. I really, this is cute, but I just know the quality is gonna be laughable because this is the kind of set I was talking about when I said it was like a leg or it was like a um, jogger and then little cardigan. It looked like this. I already know what this material is gonna be. I will not even indulge. This is really cute too if I was not breastfeeding. That's super cute. Mm. Nothing else is really interesting me. Nothing else is of interest here. All right, y'all, duty calls. I'm gonna place this order and then we will try it on tomorrow because it is one day shipping. Well, we'll try it on Thursday. But hopefully it comes in by that time because we'll be out of here on Friday. I'll talk to y'all later. Good morning. Y'all, when I say these braids were pounding, had my head pounding last night, oh my gosh, they do not play when it comes to how tight they braid. Like, it is low-key ridiculous. Good morning, Jenna. Good morning, Jenna. Girl, your face be so cru- No, you need to wash your face right now. A toothbrush? Yeah, you can brush your teeth, but we need to seriously wash your face. I'm doing it, Jennifer. She hates when I wash her face. It's because that binky girl. You always got that binky in your mouth. Okay, we need to put some lotion on. Lotion, 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 lotion. Oh my gosh, my camera always has these rolling black lines. And if y'all know how to fix that, let me know because I've literally tried everything. What's wrong? Baby, I can't hold you right now. I gotta do my hair and then we can do your hair so we can leave. 
I'm gonna show you guys how I refresh my boho every morning. Step one, soak it in water like I mean dripping. But this morning's been really good. I got into my word, girl, so I feel so good. Last night I was praying and I was just like, God, I don't know how, but I need you to make a way for me to meet you in the morning. Cause usually, this is how my mornings look, y'all. I wake up and somehow Genesis done found her way down here. And you know, she's, she's needing stuff. The morning has started, the day has started. There's no like slow wake up. It is a very, very, very fast paced wake up. Like as soon as I wake up, boom, we're getting into life. But this morning I woke up, the house was quiet. I didn't know what was going on, girl, but I didn't question it. And I just opened my word, I got in my word, and I feel so good. Like, there's nothing like soaking with God. I pray all throughout the day, that's cool. But like, if you're not reading your word, there's a big piece missing and there's a disconnect. So if you feel like, oh yeah, I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying, but you're not reading your word, God is who he says he is in his word. You learn about who God is in his word. It's like you're having a relationship with somebody, but you know nothing about them. You have to get into the word, girl. So I'm actually still reading <laughs> that devotional by Jackie. I'm, I slacked, y'all. I slacked. I did not do it every day, and I'm going to be transparent about it, but I'm back on it. I'm almost done with it now, but it is so good. And after my devotional, I'll go into my actual word, and right now I'm in Jeremiah. And also, another trick I've been doing is I'll listen to my word throughout the day. So, like, I might listen to my to the chapter I'm reading, when I'm at the gym, when I'm working out, when I'm in the car, but then I also have like that quiet time when I'm doing my devotional. So just making sure my day is centered around the Lord. I know we're always like, how can I fit God into my schedule? But it's like, no, how can you fit your schedule into God? Like, if you don't start with God, you're just running on fumes. And I've definitely felt like that for the past few days. So it felt really good to just get into my word. Okay, so this is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla. Remember last vlog when we was at Target and I was like, oh girl, I gotta show you this because it is bomb for both, right? And that's what it is. It's this. It's like a very watery gel. It's not like thick, thick. So I like to just run it over my braids every morning. It helps the curls not get too frizzy because since there's a lot of boho in these, I'm gonna make sure that I'm really like taking care of them, detangling them. You can also get your brush and like, just give a, a quick little brush over. <sighs> this morning we are headed to the gym. I have my little gym fit on. Actually, my best friend is working out with me today, so I'm super excited about that. But usually we're doing like full body workouts. I'm on week five of my workout, y'all. Your girl's been getting it in and it feels so good. Like, if I would have never started five weeks ago, I'm gonna be five weeks today. So girl, if you start today, where are you gonna be in six months? Like, time is going to pass by regardless. You do know that, right? Like, the time is gonna come. One thing about time, it waits for nobody, okay? You can't reschedule with time. You can't say, hold on time, wait. Time is going to pass. You're just gonna let it pass? Is it gonna be six months down the road and you didn't do nothing that you said you was gonna do? Or are you gonna look up and be like, hey, I did everything I was supposed to do. And the results are giving. So that's the vibe. I'm about to pull my hair back because we're about to go to the gym. Y'all, I'm so scared for my edges. <laughs> I didn't even realize she braided my edges up. Like, that is one thing about the Africans. They will braid your edges. They will give you the <laughs> hairline. Like, please, I'm trying to pull some out. But like, it is a fight. Like right here, she literally braided my whole, that's my edge, girl. That's my edge. <sighs> Pray for my edges and it's already postpartum. Like my edges is already on the struggle bus. Girl, you keep pitter-pattering in here. Where's your, your breakfast? All right, girl. We're about to head to our workout and get this working. Good job. What? Yeah, I know it's been a little while, but I gotta let them know. Yeah. Gotta let them know. If you ever been down, opportunity to grow. Trust in God, he got his hands in it. I promise to protect you like a Girl, 
I just got done with my workout. When I say I feel amazing, we did this little finisher at the end, and I was like, Allie, you got me fighting for my life, but I felt so good after, so I was glad I did it. I'm here picking up my Target drive-up order. Listen, I don't know if I'm just a little slow, but one, I have never, ever, ever filled up this car with gas. Javon does it. Like, that's something my man, my man, my man's gonna do. <laughs> but I look at the gas thing, and it was like, we got five miles, or we're not gonna make it. So I'm like, okay, let me go get some gas, thinking it's about to be just easy breezy. I go to this gas station. First of all, this gas station does not sell gas. How you a gas station that does not sell gas? I see gas pumps. He's like, yeah, we're not selling gas. I'm like, but while I was there trying to get the gas, I couldn't get like the little gas cap to open. And Kia's are weird sometimes where you have to like open it from the inside. There's a button you press, but I looked, there was no button. So I went to open it, girl. This thing is not opening. And I'm like calling the man over. I'm like, ooh, it scared me. I'm like, can you help me, sir? He's like, well, yeah, we're not selling gas. I was like, okay, great. So go to the next one. I'm still fighting for my life trying to open this gas cap. And it's just, it's not opening. So we're on three miles of gas and I had to stop and get this order, but it is right like down the street from the house. Hopefully we'll make it. <laughs> Girl, legitimately three miles till empty. I don't think y'all understand. Like Kias really are weird. You have to be maneuvering stuff. Like the thing is just not opening. It's like mad stiff. I'm like, is it frozen shut? But I'm like, it's not even that cold out. I have the car off right now because I'm like, we need to preserve gas. I am super excited though because we are heading to Columbus on Friday. Friday morning, we got an early flight. Are we going to make it? Hopefully. We're going to literally have to wake up at like 5 a.m. Because getting out of the house by 7 with 202, we're at least going to have to wake up by 5. But I want to have like the car. Well, we're not taking the car. We're taking the plane. I need to book an Uber. I want to see what's cheaper, Uber or Lyft because... We were going to, like, leave our car at the airport, but please be so for real. Atlanta airport, it just is a very sketchy affair. So I would feel more comfortable just biting the bullet and taking a lift. Ubers to the airport are so expensive because we are far from the airport. It's probably going to be, like, a $200 Uber, which pains me, but I would rather pay that than have somebody break into my car now. We're both looking down. Yeah, we have that early morning flight, and I'm just excited to spend time with family. Like, going to Columbus, first of all, it's all hands on deck, so everybody just takes over when it comes to the kids, which feels so good. Me and Javon can do a couple date nights. I'm just trying to shop, girl. Like, I'm in, I'm just trying to shop. I'm trying to just live it up, work out with my men. Like, it's going to be fun. So, I am going to vlog in Columbus so y'all can see, like, what that entails. But, yeah, I'm just waiting for my Target driver border. Okay, let me set an alarm to check in. Oh, girl, they scared me. Oh, shoot. The car's off. Oh, hello. Um, I'll just have it right here. That's fine. Thank you. Thanks so much. Perfect. Have a nice one. You too. Okay, so we depart at 8.40 a.m. So I'm going to set an alarm to check in at 8.35 on Thursday. One thing about me, I'm going to set an alarm. Like, I am not about to carry a mental load. I will set an alarm and just hope that I see the alarm. And that's just what it is. So if we have to depart at 8.40, oh, no, got to turn this car off, girl, for we cannot leave then we need to probably be at the airport by i would say seven girl i don't like being late at the airport like i am an early early bird type of girl the good thing is the flight is only like an hour and a half so it's gonna be quick and easy okay let's do because you got kids. But if you bring a stroller, you get to cut the line and go right to like the priority. That's a hack. Y'all better have them kids. Have them kids, girl. Because when you go to the airport, they treat you real nice. Real nice. Okay, but I still want to get there by... We need to leave at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock a.m. is when we're leaving. So we need to be up at 5 a.m. All right, quick Target haul. I got this because we have so much pink mold in our shower and it happens so fast. So I'm like, I need something that's specific for mold. So this is the Clorox Mold and Mildew. And then it's very boring stuff, y'all. It's nothing interesting. 
seventh generation. This is the laundry detergent we use. It smells really good. We always get compliments on how our clothes smell. So, 10 out of 10. Recommend. And then I ran out of lotion. Last time I was in Target with y'all, I actually got this for one of my subscribers. But I liked how it smelled so much that I got this one instead of the gold one. Mm, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm glad I got that. And then I just got some water wipes for the babies. That's all. All right, let's go home. We've got some last minute stuff to do work-wise and stuff like that before we leave for the week. All right, girl, we gotta get dressed. When it comes to running errands, two-piece. Like, two-piece, two-piece, two-piece. That's really what I'm good for. A two-piece and a little trench coat, yeah. Girl, forget everything I just said. We're going with a white sweater and leggings because... <laughs> That's all that's going to work today, and I'm not even about to stress myself out because I'm literally just running some quick errands. We're going to go to Walmart and see if they have any new cute clothes for Genesis because, you know, last time I definitely did really good over there. I just want to grab her a couple of things. Um, Let's do an edge control review. I guess this edge control is supposed to be real, real good. McKenna said it's supposed to be bomb, so it must be bomb. This is... The gel, or no, this is the glaze and hold edge gel. Now, I don't got much edges to work with today, so don't expect some extravagant edge tutorial. I'm just going to literally, but honestly, like minimal baby hairs is kind of a vibe. You just have to lay them right. Like, I don't like personally, like the big bulky ones, and I feel like sometimes I have way too much hair around my edges. Ooh. And it does give the big bulky edge vibe. I used to like that where it's like huge, too big. But now I don't mind if it's just a little bit. I'm going to just take a tiny bit. Girl, you hear how hard my edge brush is? That's how you know. <laughs> I do not clean this thing. So like just a cute little, you know, just a cute little. Boom, 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 boom. And not even like a swoop, just like a little layage. It's literally a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I guess you didn't do me too dirty. It was kind of throwing me off because my edges weren't laid. Maybe that's why I was like, what is going on with my forehead? But it was really just because I needed to lay these down. They feel laid though. Because this is what I usually use. I usually use the edge booster and it used to work for me, but... Girl, these days, I don't know if it's expired or what. It don't do nothing. I'll be out the door and my edges are already up in the air crying for help. So, hopefully... But I feel it, though. They feel, like, stiff. Not, like, stiff, stiff, but, like, they feel in place. Hmm. Might have done something with this one, girl. Very basic for the jewelry. Ring. <laughs> I love my ring, y'all. It is so... And I honestly don't hate this band because it looks like a princess. Like, I feel like this band gives princess. But we're going to have to see because if I fall in love with the other band. Okay, so jewelry is very simple. Honestly, I should do like a little necklace. Where is my necklace? I'd be feeling like this knot so fast. When I had my hair pressed out, my hair was getting caught in this and it hurt so bad. Like the back of my head was getting ripped apart. There's so much hair on this. This is gross. I need to take this to the cleaner and have them just clean this. Rearrange it, girl. Get these little knots out. And then you could double up, double up. But I don't know if this is a double up type of look. I've been still using this. But I really use it as like a hair mist. Because I don't spray stuff right on me. Because I'm, you know, breastfeeding and stuff. And then I'm going to just wear this with my little Taz dupes. And here's a look. Cute, simple, to the point. Let's go to the car. Thank you. I was going to get a coffee, but girl, I've already had coffee today, and I'm not trying to be wired. I'm really trying to figure out what I want to get done on my nails. This is so cute, and I feel like my na my new nail tech can do it. I'm good. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. I have some super exciting news, y'all. And I finally got the okay to talk about it. Girl, I'm about to be a god mom. My best friend is pregnant.
my best like my best friend is pregnant like you're telling me me and my best friend are gonna have kids that are the same age you're telling me we're gonna be giving the girls mommy on a play date you're telling me i have somebody to walk this journey out with god is too good y'all i'm a god mom officially my best friend is pregnant and i'm so excited for her i got the okay to tell y'all she's not on social media or anything so she was like just do the reveal for me and she's when we get home, I have to show you how she asked me to be her godmom. It was the cutest thing ever. I'm a godmom. Like, it's real now. She is about to enter her third trimester. And it's always been, like, a thought, like, oh, my gosh, my best friend's pregnant. But it's like, no, like, she's about to have a baby. <laughs> I'm about to hold the baby in my arms. It's so beautiful, like, being able to experience these moments with somebody, especially somebody that close, like, because I'm telling you, motherhood, unless you have literally walked through the thing, there's no books that you can read. There's no videos that you can watch where you can fully, like, grasp the whole concept. It's really one of those things that you have to, like, experience. So us being able to experience it together around the same time is it's so beautiful. All right, y'all. I'm about to get the nails done. We'll figure out the design when we get in here. did go with the design i showed y'all before but we just remixed it because she didn't have all the colors so we did more of like a gold corally situation this is my first time really getting down with a design and i'm not mad at it like i'm low-key excited maybe a girl should do more designs because i'm very much a french tip girl but i feel like this is so cute but i'm about to pick up genesis drop her home then we're gonna go to walmart to get some clothes for her because I already know how that's gonna go she she wants her her snack when she gets out of school she does not want to come to walmart with me so we'll go grab her drop her off javon will give her 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 little <laughs> genesis don't play when it comes to food like and i get it sometimes you don't have time for the games and you just want to eat so we're gonna go grab her do that and then i'll see y'all at walmart hey girl we're in walmart i picked up a couple of hair care products because i need a mousse i forgot that you definitely need a mousse for these braids my routine usually goes like leave-in conditioner, a gel, then a mousse. I found this one, so we're gonna try this out. I tried it on a little strand, cause you know I'm definitely gonna test it. <laughs> and it seemed to do pretty good. And then I also picked up the Mayel. Y'all know, the girlies know. And if you don't know, now you know. It's supposed to be really good for hair growth. Now mind you, I'm not really trying to have these braids grow out fast, so I'll tread lightly if it does work. But I also just need something to moisturize my scalp. We're about to head to the kids aisle and find Jenna just some basics. You guys know Walmart has the really cute basics for toddlers. And then if they have some cute onesies for Ezra, I'll pick up some of those too. $11 for this little. I'm going to get Ezra one of these. $11? That's not bad. And this boy really is in a six to nine months. Let me see. Three to six would fit him, but for probably like two weeks. No, I feel like this is kind of big. This is this is a drag. We can do three to six. Like stuff like this cracks me up. <laughs> Babies doing a boy is so dirty, it's ridiculous. Okay. This is not oh, this is actually nice. That's cute. Eleven dollars. A cute. It's actually thick. I was like, this is not gonna be thick enough, but this is actually thick. She has this one. She doesn't have this one. Boom. Eighteen months. Right here. Super cute. Eleven dollars. Even cuter. I think one of my favorite like core memories. My mom. She was a bargainer. My mom is a bargainer still to this day, but. Like, we did not have lots of money growing up, but me and my mom would always, like, go shopping together. We'd be going shopping at, like, thrift stores, discount stores, and that's just something I'll always remember. Like, I literally remember the smell of the stores. I would get so excited because it didn't matter if it was brand new or not to me. I was about to get some clothes, okay? And it was new to me. So, I just have that as, like, a core memory. I always remember going, like, thrift shopping with her, and <laughs> it was just, yeah. 
Good memories, good memories. So last time we were here, we got this one. She didn't end up wearing it a lot because it is like an open neck. So this would probably do her better. But I think this would look cuter on her complexion. So like a light oatmeal. All right, I'm gonna shop around and then we'll do a big collective haul when I get home. Let's do a haul from Walmart they did what they needed to do i always like literally right before i leave i always find the clothes that i've been looking for the whole time so i feel like they really ate down on it let's start with ezra stuff ezra got a lot of basics a lot of just simple onesies but i like how soft these are this is from the brand wonder nation it's the sleepwear it's got the double zipper which is great for the night these were super cute and they were on clearance for five dollars only thing is i don't like buttons i hate buttons they're extra but i would put him in this during the day just definitely not at night this is from honest it's three to six months super cute basic soft double zipper no this one doesn't have a double zipper it's like why put a zipper on it if it's not a double zipper but whatever and this is one of my favorite things girl this cute little puffer little situation honestly looking at this now this boy might fill this up okay the feet are open so that will help but it is so soft y'all it's so soft and it was 11 dollars. they already have all the winter stuff on clearance so if you still need winter stuff for your babies you better go girl because everything that's winter is on clearance and it's got this little cute for my ezra i love it and then i just picked him up um a couple of hats because this boy got a big old head and the newborn ones did not fit him so i got him six month ones and they're a little bit more stretchy these are from gerber this i found this on clearance girl it says six dollars but it rang up three dollars that's another thing i love about walmart because especially if it's a clearance item you might ring it up and it can be a completely different price like usually if it's on clearance it's lower than what it's advertised as and i love that so i got him this little sleeper these are really good right after you got a bath and you need something warm something cozy and i don't hate the colors i feel like the terracotta and the navy blue is kind of a vibe even though we are giving roar roar dinosaur i'm just accepting the fact that boys clothes especially when it comes to like walmart target they just gonna look a little bit corny and it is what it is all right my camera battery is about to die we have to zoom through genesis stuff basic leggings these were all three dollars boom boom little peachy and i got her a whole bunch of matching sets this reminded me of justice because justice used to stay having little <laughs> Stuff like that little peace sign with the matching bottoms they only had those in 24 months but i just grabbed it i love this one it says mama's mini these were like 398 girl each little set i love these pants though because it gives like an oversized look it's so cute this set like my baby she's gonna look cute but she's gonna look like a little girl don't let social media be brainwashing y'all dress your kid like a kid like that baby does not need a cross body bag with a crop top that's just me personally however you dress your kid is your business but i just feel like social media has just done a great job at brainwashing parents and making them dress their five-year-old as a 21 year old but that's just me that's the topic for another day we got my girl this she has all the other colors of this so i was like let me just grab this one and it rang up for eleven dollars cute little two-piece set did end up grabbing this one as well another little two-piece cute for church and then her last two-piece and this is also this could be cute for church or school it's thick enough it'll probably be for more for church because i'd just be putting her in like joggers and comfortable stuff for, for school but yeah girl that's everything i got at walmart i'm gonna throw all this in the wash because tomorrow we are gonna be packing we're headed to columbus friday morning so i want to get everything prepped tomorrow so we will pick back up on the vlog prepping making sure everything is in order so we can have a good trip
Good morning. Featuring baby throw up a nice little brooch here. <laughs> Girl, I just spent all morning getting the house together. Our dishwasher literally broke. Like this is the second time it's broke in the past month. We had to get a whole new motor for it. It was super expensive. It was very stressful, but we finally got it fixed. And our whole island is absolutely filled with dishes. So I'm waiting for loads to run so I can keep filling it because you guys know that we are leaving tomorrow. But I feel like I've been really proactive today because I literally packed all the kids' clothes and I did it very nice and neatly. These packing organizers are actually from Sheen, y'all. They were like $4 and it comes in like a pack of eight. So I got Jenna's clothes here, my gym clothes here, hair stuff as his clothes. Jenna's shoes, and then I'm about to pack up my clothes. But my Fashion Nova came in. I told y'all, Fashion Nova is very hit or miss, but sometimes they hit. Y'all saw everything your girl got when we did the little shop with me. So now let's see in real life. I will say that one day shipping was actually one day. Sometimes they love to play around. These are really cute. Okay, I like this straight leg. I think these are gonna be cute. I think they're gonna be cute, but let's try it on with like a whole situation. This is probably that cardigan. Oh no, this is the two piece. I think I might wear this to the airport, but I don't know girl, cause I might need my big puffer jacket cause it'd be freezing in Ohio. So this is the two piece. Now in the reviews it said that the sweater is super oversized. So hopefully it doesn't look ginormous, but I don't mind an oversized cardigan. But this is basically like a little soft teddy bear two piece it's got the leggings and then the cardigan i did end up getting those little tank tops so hopefully they fit does anybody else open packages like this because one thing about me i need to get to the goods like i don't have time all right these are the little square neck tanks i was talking about uh oh first of all this is not square neck this is what i'm talking about hello can you see me like this is so see-through this is so, I'm not, girl, this isn't even giving rainbow. Fashion Nova, you love to play. That is so obnoxious. And it's like, I'm not about to return a $4 shirt. Is this a wife, a Walmart wife beater? This is supposed to be a cute. Okay. This is the oversized cardigan. It's like that real cute, rusty orange color. I think this is actually going to be cute. We got the two piece. Actually, I might wear this to the airport tomorrow so I can wear a puffer jacket over it. But let's try this on first. This feels nice. It's very compact. It definitely looks like it's about to suck me together. So let's try it on. This reminds me of the My Outfit Online sets. When I say, if you need to be held together, this will hold you together. Quality? Like, it's like giving thick. Um, absolutely bomb. I feel like it moves me out very nicely and that's what I need. I need to be smoothed out. I need to be held together. And I feel like this does exactly that. I was gonna go with this blue, but I'm glad I went with this like purple because I don't have a lot of purple clothes and I'm trying to expand my colors. But yeah, 10, 10. This is so cute. Girl, it's so high-waisted. It's all the way up here. This is how high-waisted it is. So if you need that extra, and usually stuff that's super high-waisted like this will like accentuate the pouch, the little pooch, but I feel like this doesn't. I feel like this is just compressing me together. And if you a mom, you know, this is what we need. This is what we need. I love it. I love it. Here's the next fit. Super cute besides this pathetic, pathetic t-shirt. Girl, like seriously, it is so see-through. It's not even funny. Don't do me like this fashion. Hour. I like this. I like how oversized this sweater is. I love the jeans. They fit great. They look really good. They hold me in nicely, which I like. I think this is overall really cute for sure. Oh, wait, girl, remember we literally got the, oh, definitely. Get these if they're cute. See, it's like, if you wear a size nine, don't get no Uggs because my kids do be dirty in many ways. It's not even like, that y'all made me gain weight. Okay, cool, whatever. But y'all made my feet two sizes bigger. That is insane. <laughs> like, the things women go through when they're pregnant is quite literally insane. 
Oh, these are too big. No, these are way too big. These are, these are hooves. sweater was going to be more oversized but it's maybe I just like really big stuff I guess it's a little oversized but I don't know it's something that's not giving how it should I might need to also judge it up with like jewelry and stuff like that and this tank top is not helping but here's how this one looks quality mm, six out of ten the best thing I got for sure was this and those blue jeans okay girl I have a lot to do. I'm not even about to stress myself out and try to vlog. So we're going to end the vlog here. I am going to be vlogging in Ohio. So I will see y'all there. I'll probably start the vlog in the morning so we can pick up regular schedule programming. Y'all are going to see the tea. Don't worry, girl. But I love you. Thank you for catching up with me this week. I missed you so much. And it was so fun talking to you. So I'll call you later. Bye, girl.